Hello, in this video I'll show you how to create uh, FBX asset using your fragments and why you need this. And the first reason is your scene size uh, because if you store all fragments inside your scene, uh, their si its size will be very big. So this is my simple scene. It, right now it has this column and uh, you can see this is an FBX asset and here it's mesh. And my scene size right now, let me open it. You can see it's size 10 kilobytes, so not too much. And now I've fragmented to four, about 400 fragments. You can see all these fragments. And, uh, and now I will save my scene again with all these fragments. And as you can see, uh, this scene size almost six megabytes, and this is because uh, right now all these fragments store this mesh data inside scene. There is no place, there is no asset uh, where it can store. Like this column store its mesh inside this column asset, but this uh, fragment, as you can see, it, uh, there is no any reference for this mesh. It just store everything inside scene, and this is why scene size is so big and if you, will, if you will have a lot of fragments your scene size obviously will be even more even bigger and this is why this is the first reason why you need to export your objects into fbx file format and second reason is because right now these fragments cannot be stored as uh, uh, you, you can create prefabs out of these fragments because prefab can store only serializable uh, information and unity mesh is not serializable so if we will try to create prefab using this root with all the fragments, here you can see I created this prefab, but if I will open it, I won't see anything. All the fragments is there here, you can see, but it's a mesh filter mesh set to none because Unity cannot store Unity mesh data inside prefabs. It, cannot, it can only reference it to some um, asset here but since uh, we don't have any asset for our mesh uh, we just we just miss miss this uh, all the mesh data so uh, this is another reason why you need to create fbx pref uh, pre fbx asset so if you will create prefab it will reference all the mesh data to this asset and this is why you can uh, export all the fragments into fbx file format uh, you need to, to do so, you need to install FBX exporter package and uh, for Unity 2018 1 and 2 it's not available anymore in Asset Store. For all other versions you can install it using this uh, package manager here. So uh, first of all you need to set here all packages and here you need to so, set here show preview packages because um, this FBX uh, exporter right now in preview package and the, here it is so we can install and you may have see here some errors uh, to avoid them you need to set uh, player settings here to .NET 4 that x equivalent otherwise you may see some errors here so now uh, it's installed and if I will select this root with all the fragments here right click here you can see that it's export to FBX and uh, here are several properties here uh, everything is pretty uh, simple just the name path where I want to save them and maybe I will save them in the same folder where I save my scene Okay, and uh, there's also export format. Binary will uh, have less size, but you obviously won't be able to open it in any way. So let's keep it this one. And okay, I can click export now. And take some time. Let's go to this size folder. Now you can see we have the here this. Uh, 
uh, column root.fbx and its size is 10 megabytes. So let's select this column root again and export fbx, but this time we will set here binary. And maybe we change name. Okay, uh, now let's take a look. I can see its size is two and a half megabytes, much less than this first uh, attempt. So let's delete it. Okay, so now we have this uh, FBX file with all the fragments. As you can see, all the fragments right now stored inside this FBX asset. So now we can can delete this we don't need this uh, object anymore because again uh, it's fragment mesh is not referencing anywhere so we can delete it and create this fbx version so again this is the same uh, the same object the same fragments but now if you will click here you'll see that it's referencing right now to this uh, meshes inside this fbx asset and now we can create uh, prefab uh, maybe call it prefab here so now you can see we have prefab and we can open this prefab and we will get we'll have all these fragments because again, all the fragments referencing to this FBX asset here. So two main reasons to export all the fragments into FBX file, because after export, the size will be less than if you will store them inside scene. And second reason, because uh, now we can create uh, prefabs out of this asset here. And then you can use the same prefab or even FBX asset for demolition purposes, but that will be in other tutorials. So I guess that's it with FBX exporting. Uh, thank you for watching.